Sorry, I was just basking in the beauty of my second hat. Because this this is Red Dead 2, and things are weird. Alright, so we're in San Denis still. Picking up right where we left off last time. I've not done anything since last time. Except stare at my hat. And what is this? Is there something that happens here? Is there a door? Yeah, there's something going on in here. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. All right, we got a side mission immediately, so. The best. I think I vaguely remember this. Santé. I've done this mission in the past. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> oh, very American of you. I love it. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. How very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Hmm? Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> you know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, <laughs> that is truth. What? Press is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. All right, that was a nice little weird encounter. That was a weird encounter, but it was fun. And we got some porn out of it. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Between the book from last time and that, it's just like, oh, great. We come into San Denis, and everything's just horny and violent and insane. This is a game for degenerates, and we're playing as a degenerate, so it works. So where are we going now? We met Dutch last time. There's another thing up here. The Mercies of Knowledge. I want to do another side thing real quick. That last one was just a fun encounter. I don't care if it leads to a mission or not. I want to do something before we meet Dutch again. What? Maybe he doesn't know who we are, huh? No, I don't. Who are you, fine gentleman? Whoa, all right. Just passing on through. Go on, then. I am. Whoa, we scared him off. Okay. Shit. Yeah, ha have fun, guys. Have fun in your archway. So, what is over here? Oh, excuse me, bud. 
I think I remember this one. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a hundred <laughs> gallons. Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. Hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. <laughs> Friend, I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Or All right. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Talk to Alden at Ro Oh, we have to go back to Alden from last time, the dude at the train station. Huh. All right. Are we wanted in Rhodes from from last time? Somehow we're not, but we can use weapons in town again. Hi, hey, mister. Hey. You're in for a sight, my friend. Just as soon as I get my hands on that... Hey there, partner. What the hell? Quit fella? wasting... Calm down. That dude got annoyed that I just said hey to him. What kind of civilization is this? Hi there. Hello. I do like how in this game, if you just greet people, just say hey to them, or maybe have a slight talk, you get honor as evidence there. It's a pretty easy way to just... Oh my god, I'm sorry. That ain't the way you handled it. If you don't want no trouble, you can't get the job. Hey, I'm gonna say you walked in front of my horse, miss. I am sorry. But I was already on a set path, and for some reason my horse did a flip. Hey, it's my second hat again. <laughs> what the hell? Why did this happen here? Hey, mister. Please, sir, will you... Hi there, ma'am. Xinxang, Lei Ho. All right, we got to go back to Alden. So, I don't know what nuts stuff just happened there, but we're getting out of town. Get out of town. You know, a part of the reason why the horse has issues in Sandini is because the roads are too thin. They're like one-way roads. And that kind of sucks. It's fine in open plazas like this, but... Because it's not like I'm going to wait around behind them or something. This ain't a freeway. I'm just shotgunning the greetings. Hey there. How there, mister? Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. <laughs> it's almost a little funny. How there, mister? Arthur's just a nice all around good guy. He sure is. Says hi to everybody he meets. Friendliest soul. Hey, partner. Yep. All right, let's get moving. Hey there. Somebody, please help me. 
Oh boy, we're getting interrupted. Please, you gotta help me. What's up? Oh, I remember this. Okay. I gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sacked out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Hi there, mister. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hi there, mister. Right, it's that house over there. Somehow I shot his hat off instead. That's fine. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's too used to greeting people now. First thing is, howdy, miss. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Is there why is there somebody after me? You can see it on the mini map, they're on the left of it. <laughs> Who's after me? What? There's something there. And I don't know why. Is it an alligator or something else? Just one more. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Okay. Um uh, sure. Oh, thank you again. You my garden angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. And now whatever wanted to hurt me is just gone. Oh, wait, that ain't my horse. No, that is not. Where's my horse? All right. Oh, we're right across from Shady Bell. It's straight up right over there. <laughs> hey, mister. Yeah, let's let's keep going back to roads. So recently I've been messing around with Polychrome films and such, which is always stuff I've wanted to mess around with, but I've acquired, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've acquired some stock that is still active, quote unquote, it is still usable. 
Uh, it wasn't cheap, but it works, and that's the thing that impresses me and why I'm using it to try out and mess around with and work with for a project. Uh, the polo the polychrome stuff, the color, is not great, but it is usable. It's got a lot of got a lot of heavy grain and intense shadows in how it turns out, but it's it's fine-ish. It's doable, but it's not preferable. The black and white stock that I've been using has been very surprisingly good. The polo pan, which is just your standard black and white is great. It has this rot look to it, which I very much like. And the polygraph, I'm surprised, works because the stock was listed as not being usable because the dev packs were dried out, which is generally the case with this type of film, given it's been 30 years since it's been on the market. The developer packs are custom from Polaroid and is mostly a lost technology in chemical. So you can't really process these things without their specific packets of developer. And the graph stuff has worked so far. And I've figured out some ways to test whether or not the packs are going to work or not. And so far that has helped me with getting it to work. But the graph stuff looks great. I'm surprised. Uh, Polygraph was mainly used for creating images to be then enlarged for use on overhead projectors and such. That's mainly what it was used for. Or for, like, not data, but just information storage. Like, it, it's kind of like how a lot of black and white film from the 50s and 60s were used for just like storing mass amounts of like written information and to my knowledge most uh, online there hasn't been anybody posting photos of being able to use Polygraph in at least 10 years so I'm kind of proud of myself that I got it to work I also have stock of Pola Blue which is a medical version of it that's on Blue Ain't there film you can go pester that I have so far been unsuccessful in reactivating of use for images. I'm still doing a few tests with it, but it is a lot more difficult. I have gotten one image out of it so far, but it's it was so faded that I wouldn't count it as working really, because it was not it was not even really scannable. It's like the evidence of there is, but then you blow it up onto a PC monitor, you're not really going to be able to see it at all. So I'm working on that. I'm, I'm doing a lot of weird chemical chemist stuff with 30-year-old Polaroid technology that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> if you read, I'm not going to go on a lecture about any of this stuff because it is its own entire like subject matter of photography and film stuff, but it's... It's insane technology and very, I would arguably say it's pretty high level for tinkering if you're trying to mess around with the stuff. And it has a high failure rate as well. So that is the only reason that I even am attempting any of this stuff is that I am curious. I have the interest in it and I have the money to put down to try it and possibly fail with it. <laughs> Right, let's talk to this dude. I don't have any bounties, do I? No. So, uh, do you want this, Arthur? Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Coach Robbery to Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of Sandinay. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. Well, 
What is that on the map? Bounty posters. Oh, okay, so th this is the side stuff of going after outlaws if you want to. No, not settings. Whoa, we gotta go pretty far north. Blue Water Marsh is up here. It's north of LaGraw. We had to come all the way to Rhodes just to go all the way north, huh? Ain't that just the way? Oh, it's this guy. Hello, sir. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Me, a bunch of... Nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. And with you, man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Well, I gotta keep coming back. I get what you're saying, man. But, yeah. We're well, man on a mission. I don't want to we got a date with destiny in this story, and we ain't able to stop it. What's this? You okay there, mister? Do you mean me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself... A fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. The man wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me. I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yeah, but no great love for my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. L please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. No, nah, we're just going to conduct some business with them. You looking for that fella's wagon? I heard them say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. Let's go to Macomb's Edge. I swear to God, I'm just going to say hi to somebody like I have been, and they're just going to instantly just start shooting me. They're just going to start shooting me randomly. I'm going to push them over the edge. You telling me to have a good morning? It's going to be something like that. I'm going to push them over Macomb's Edge. Yeah. 
Where is Macomb's Edge? Oh, it's this outcropping of houses over here. Okay. Horse is doing its own thing. I wanted it to jump over that fence and it said no. It's also getting sunset out here, and I don't really like being out here at night. I heard you boys stole man's carriage. This is a nice ass carriage. Look at this thing. It's even got a little grinding container, whatever, that you grind herbs or medical things with. What is my horse doing? Come on, stop. It ran into the car. Oh my god, it, my horse running into the other horse made it fall over. Just, just follow us, horse, please. Don't do anything weird. Dr. R Dr. Reynolds Medicine Company. Dysentery, fever, typhoid, and smallpox. Colds, goiters, and cholera. Oh man, this dude needs to go to Armadillo once uh, the plague breaks out there. Oh, I thought this was just another one of the guys. Okay. Sorry. I'm just shooting him too because he would have, like, went to the police or whatever. We're just getting out of here. Whoa, do not flip the carriage. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'd assume we're all we're all clear now. Yeah, this was a little mission. Oh god. Okay, we cleared the we cleared the fence. Yeah, let's be a little bit more careful in town so we don't hit anybody. Maybe. Uh, you know this better, don't you? Here you go, man. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Yeah. It wasn't a trouble now, was it? Ah, uh, we had to it kill a, a couple, yeah. well, like a dozen guys. Your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might do well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, you see me on my travels and you're in need of something? Make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. What were you doing behind there? <laughs> come on. Horse, please. And then it slowly walks up to us and stops 10 feet away. Uh, there are days I long for Kage from Ghost of Tsushima where I can just have it run up to me on my side and, you know, instantly start going where I need to go. That'd be nice. So we got to go north. All the way up there. And we'll see if anything stops us again on our way. Yeah. I kind of hope not, so we can get a move on with this other side mission. Oh. Arthur did a really bizarre ragdoll. Our horse is just standing there, not caring about anything in the world. Lemoyne Raiders, please. Why are I? I'm, why am I not aiming? I hate this rifle sometimes. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Can I hide behind this house, maybe? Hey, horse, can you uh, come over here, please? Yeah, just mosey on over like you do, you piece of shit. <laughs> Do I have anything that can really give me some good health back? Beans will do. I, I'm just trying to refill and recoup my status. Just have dinner, Arthur. It's okay.
I think that's good enough. Let's go, yeah. We're going to go back again. Yeah, they seem to just be gone. Yeah. I love the Springfield rifle because it's very strong and accurate. My problem with it is that it is one bullet at a time. You have to reload after every time you fire, and that sucks. There's not even a scent of those guys here anymore. I'm surprised I survived that. Normally, that's a situation where I die after a few hits. Especially since I lost the horse. And the horse didn't want to come to me, so... It's not the greatest thing being out here in LeGraw in the dead of night. This is not where you want to be in this game. <laughs> yeah. Do you see how my horse spun on its side? I really am annoyed at moments like that where my horse was supposed to... I ran into the fence intentionally, and it just didn't jump over it. It just took it and then spun out like something you'd see in Crazy Taxi. Or the City Escape... Like, it's like hitting one of the... It's like hitting one of the cars in City Escape in Sonic Adventure 2. It just flips out everywhere like it lacks proper physics. It's amusing, but it's also kind of annoying here. Because I'm focusing. I'm just keeping my gun out while I'm out here. Why do I hear something that sounds like a bear? I don't believe there's bears down here in LeGras. There's alligators, sure. Horse bonding increased to level two. Yeah, you guys aren't going to go faster. I'm just going to ride past. Now, where's this shot? It's riding south.
So it's going to come over. We're going to put this up. I think that's an alligator. I would love to use a Molotov or dynamite to stop it, but that seems like a bad idea. Oh, the aim. This thing moves terribly. Yeah, this thing moves terribly. Right, I hope the inventor dude, whatever he needs this for is worthwhile. Because, man, have we had to go on a couple random extra missions, and this one is fine, but this wagon is heavy. It's too much moonshine for one man. No, 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 don't point your gun. That's rude. That is not... How you behave in public, Arthur. Come on. And I missed that road again. We're just gonna keep going to the next one. It's like when you're it's when it's this is exactly when you're missing the turn offs your GPS is just not telling you to take. Do I have to park this here? How do I even get it in here? Oh, I had to move a foot more. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. Yes, I'm wondrous. What is my horse doing? Look at it. Oh my god. My horse is my horse is one with the moonshine. Uh, I don't read much. Oh, 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 that's too bad. Yes. <laughs> you got my money. Oh, no, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've of done it. is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. The what? It's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yes. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. <gasps> huh. uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. <laughs> yes, could, could you do that? Hmm? My horse is gone. It it just just gone. Wow. 
Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Hey. You, you, you all right? Yeah, I'm sorry. You, you have your little bubble. My horse's bubble just burst and it popped. And all of its atoms reformed about 30 feet away. Right. <laughs> yeah, something is wrong. I don't know what's going on with this town or the game at the moment. I'm just here for the ride, man. The same way Arthur's riding the horse. I'm just, I'm just here. Seeing what kind of insanity happens. And so far, things are a little weird. Let's go to the police chief for to get a guy, some poor motherfucker who's going to fry in this dude's electric chair. <laughs> This is the part where the roads are too, too thin. Oh, I look menacing with the mask on. Let me take it off. Yeah, that guy just had, like, shit and piss dumped on him from up above. That's wonderful. Yeah, screw the horse. We're just going to go. Just mash the run button. I feel like tackling into the police the police office door would prompt them to immediately try and shoot me. Can I help you with something? Yeah. Do I have to come in there? I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, we represent the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild. With the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a plumbing, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Uh, can we negotiate? Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for 50. Sure. It's as good as we're going to get. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatching. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Good morning, Hello, to you, sir. sir. Good day. Howdy. Yeah, bonjour, monsieur. Howdy. Morning. I was wondering why it was taking so long for my horse to get over here. No, Arthur did not steal the carriage. I hit the triangle button and he immediately started booking it towards it. <laughs> I know you got a trigger finger for wanting to rob things, man, but relax. Just get on your horse.
Is that guy playing a saxophone? Hey, I got a beat somewhere. Yeah, I do too, man. Professor, Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine oh. and in the usual formality. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniel. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. <laughs> Mind shutters. The mind shutters. <laughs> Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. I like how we just have a bullet hole in our hat. It happens occasionally, but there's just been one there for quite a while now. Come on. Good morning. All right, so we got to go hunt down this criminal who has a proclivity for bestiality, it seems. Oh my god, he is all the way up here. He's all the way over in New Hanover. Like, in between... He's north of Emerald Ranch. God damn it. Can I just take a stagecoach to Emerald Station? Where's the stagecoach here? This side, this specific side quest is a lot longer than I remember. Like, I'm remembering these sequences, kind of. Yep. I vaguely remember the electric chair sequence not going over too well, but still working when it actually happens. But, yeah. Dutch is going to have to wait for a bit. We're, we're investing in the future in science. Arthur is now a futurist, in the same vein as Walt Disney. Good morning, mister. We just squeeze between those. This is my annoyance with being in towns and cities and such, is I'm looking at the minimap to try and traverse this thing, so I'm not watching what we run in, if and there's anyone in front of us. I just assume that they're smart enough to move out of the way like they would in real life. But no, they're kind of dumb. Emerald Ranch is actually pretty cheap. Let's get out of town. Head back to some territory we understand. Now let's go hunt us some poor soul. Said he's along the rail line. There's something up ahead that doesn't like us. Oh, it's a... 
It's a bunch of dudes. What? Does he have a gang? They're on the other side of this bridge. Yeah, it seems he's got some sort of gang. Well, this is going to be more of a mission than I thought it was going to be. So let's see how it goes. I don't have any Molotovs. High velocity, high velocity. We're going to go high velocity there. We're going to keep normal for the shotgun right now. We don't have the scope on the Springfield. I want to hide in the tree line somewhere, preferably right in front of them. Well, what happens if I go in from the north above? That might actually be better. Their horses are kind of pointed in that direction, so they wouldn't be able to really escape too well. I'm going to do the long-winded thing and climb up this hill. Well, mountain. It's not the biggest mountain, but it's a mountain. And see if I can get the drop on him from up there. Let Arthur relax a little bit. Oh, I went far, uh, quite a bit farther than I thought. They're all the way down there. I need to get off this. The problem here is that I'm out in the open, but I do have the high ground. I'm going to hide behind these trees, actually, pretty... I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to pretty much go around. If and I can. I don't see anyone over here. The main threat's this one dude on the cliff over here.
They shot their own horses, I think. I'm just taking a horse. Yeah. Alive. Let's get you off of the rail. That went pretty well. A little bit of a mess once it all started, but... Take me to damn court, then. Oh, there's going to be no court for you. We're going to fry your brain like an egg. Your call. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. But as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is the most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in, man. Yeah, this is all official, man. We're going to fry you like <laughs> you're s This guy is getting so scared shitless from what Arthur is saying now. <laughs> I love this. This is so evil of Arthur. Oh, for Christ's sakes. I'm sorry. 
Sorry about that, McDaniels. You are. You all right? I'm gonna continue telling you how we're gonna fry your head open. <laughs> He's just crying now. He's just crying. Uh -huh. yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Man, you, sh you shouldn't have been illegally performing livestock breeding then, mister. Whatever else you've done in your life, it's all led up to this. Oh, this is amazing. Right, so we're gonna strap them in, light them up, and see what happens. I really remember this not going too great for this guy. I kind of feel sorry for him, but at the same time, no. Being a nice guy before I do this, great. This, this poor guy is just crying. I like how my horse gave me, like, points for it by taking this dude off of it. Come on. Ah, let me get a look at him, please. You're a sick little freak, Mr. Mc McDaniels. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, fuck. Ah. Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Yeah, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. All right, we're just going to follow him, I guess. Hey there. Hey there, mister. Hello, sir. Hello, mister. I feel like this is the number one way that I'm raising up my honor. <laughs> In the game. Hello, Hi there, ma'am. Hi. Hello, sir. Hello. Hey, fellas. It's not on the map already, I don't believe. No, because he's still with us. How about we go off and do another side quest that's in town, it seems, before we go to this? Oh, it's the it's the guy we just met at the bar. Yeah, let's go back to him real quick, and then we'll come back to the professor. Out of the damn way. Hey, partner. Temporary. This will all be sorted out soon. 
I think Arthur just pulled the shotgun out of the horse's ass. Ah, great. Am I too close? Yeah. Well, quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, he's gonna do right by this feller's wife. You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. <laughs> There's just like, what mm. I feel. look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. <laughs> you come see what I mean. I can't loot him. Okay. All right. Well, I saved him. Yeah. I came down here, shot a dude, and saved him. That's fine. Once again, my horse took my weapons. I just need a quick word, please. What's your problem? The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right. We did a similar mission like this in Witcher 3. Oh, thank God. And then they sure not to bang around the place Then it turned out to be a trap. I'll wait out here. All right. Let's go inside, see what's going on. How many rats are we talking about here? Oh, quite a bit. I'm going to use the revolver for this. Sorry, rats. Oh. They are on everything. I'm kind of surprised that they're able to move around like this. I can pick up the rats. <laughs> no, Arthur, no! Don't just put it in your pocket. Where is the last ones? Oh, I see. Arthur, can you pull out your gun? He just picks up a dead rat and shoved it in his pack. Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse.
you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, Father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Yeah. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> Well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, you know, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post. They're shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner... The one with the green door? Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'd really appreciate it if you could take a look. Hello, sir. Hello. First time here, I think. Whoa! Hello, look out! Out. Good day for some shopping, eh? Hello. Pardon me. Said he had a green door? Is it down here? That sure is a green door. Hi there, mister. Shall do. You timed it well. Some quality pieces well, at the moment. That's not suspicious at all. Got a few paintings over there. You did some redecorating recently? Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing Who's back, back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. All right, we're going in. I must say, you're acting very strange. Just uh, what is it you want? Uh, maybe you should leave now. I've had enough of this. You're crazy. I'm going to get it. No, no. This is insane. <laughs> What the hell? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Por favor. Get you guys out of here. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. Can I take the money from in here? Give it to them. The fact I can do this is amazing. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. Seriously, the fact that I could give them the money out of the register, that is amazing game design. This way. I'm much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres, si es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Brother, 
Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. Well, you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. I think that gave us a good amount of honor. Alright, so next we're going to go speak with Dutch. And see what the next mission has. Because we can't, for some reason, do anything with the professor, it seems. Brother Dorkin? Oh! Wait, his name is Dorkins? <laughs> What a dork. Okay, so there's a mission with the priest guy we just had a mission with. But well, we're going to go talk to Dutch first. Dutch is like over there? There he is. He's sitting in a park in the middle of the night. Can Arthur jump over this, please? No? Okay, he's not even trying. Who's your friend, Dutch? This guy. Not much, just oh, we're just walking right into it. That's nice. Got power and money. No cutscene, no nothing. Just walk up. We're going into the mission. Appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dr. Charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. Dutch, this doesn't seem very smart. A couple of things out with your boss. They could just kill us all right now and not ask any questions. The music's <laughs> getting interesting. Why do you take his son? 
Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Uh, this guy's a bit of a megalomaniac. Did you have? Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine. This evil man has found evil men equal to him. He's happy. <laughs> My friend have his son. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course, I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. No, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. They means they see my men. Of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, and you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> What kind of hat is this guy wearing? Salute. It's like a fez, but it's on his entire head. And it doesn't really, it almost looks like a nightcap, but it might be a type of nightcap. I don't know. It's a weird looking hat. My hat is better. All right, John, let's go to the cemetery and fight Dracula. Let's go. That is a mission in this game. I don't believe it's this mission, but you do go to the cemetery here in town and... Fight a vampire so, of sorts. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? No. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. He got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's are going to hold Jack ransom for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. We're always right. right what, what's up? Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Oh, you you want that one. Okay. Okay, John. I was gonna tie myself up to that one, but sure. We should go on foot from here, Arthur.
We're gonna go with the slugs. I remember this mission is a little un it's not the most annoying, but it's a little bit more difficult just because it is dark and it is a cemetery, so there's a lot of hiding places and people can jump out at you. So that all happens after we find them. Come on. Let's find them and get the hell out of here. Spooky. This is perfect for this time of year. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. Wait. What was that? Okay, so it's going to have us run around here to find these random things. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. Yeah, they're up over here. Hey. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. My friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I think we need to go to that crypt over there. John's going the other way. Yep, I was right. Right in the shoulder. Look out! They're making a run for it. You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Please, God. Bastards are trying to draw us out. I can't see worth a damn. You should have picked the right knife for it. Oh, I was wondering where one of them was. Can I? He knocked my rifle off. He's knocking all of my weapons off somehow. John, can you help me, dude? Shoot him already? Thank you. Yeah, this dude is just disarming everything off of me. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped. Oh, over here? I was going to say, they didn't jump us over here. I know that, John. Relax. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now 
Let's get out of here. Damn, I'm lost here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Is there not another way out of here? Okay, so the law is in here. We could squeeze around the direction I'm at right now and just try to go out the front exit. The other exit on the west side is guarded. One of them just spawned off to the side. Lovely. And we're going to die in here. Look at this! Why are none of them shooting at me? That's our man. One of them finally did. Yeah, Sandini's kind of an ant farm. You're stuck in here once you get in here. There's not a whole lot of places to run to. It's not the biggest environment, but it sure is compact. All I can see is going, taking a left up here and trying to leave out of the city towards the bayou. Here's John. He's got the same idea, it seems. Come on, John. I don't really want to kill any of the cops. I don't want too much of a bounty. That would get annoying. I'm just trying to outrun them right now. John's following, but he's a ways away. Oh my god, they're out here even. Here they come, so we're kind of screwed, I guess. I love how one of them is smart enough to just shoot me while I'm still down here in the mud. My horse is running away. I don't know. And I think this horse is dead. Let's run to that house, if we can. I don't remember this ever taking place so far outside of the town, but sure. This is what we're dealt with right now. This is the hand we have. We might have to take him out. Get on the horse, Arthur! For God's sakes, mount horse! He's like glitched. I was pressing the triangle button and he's just glitched next to it. Like, look at this, he's not getting on. It says you can mount the horse even. I'm just moving forward through the swamp. That was bugged. I don't know what the hell that was. We're just going to hide at this hut over here. John, don't open the fucking door. They're here. They're here.
Where is my horse? This is terrifying. I am stressed to hell right now. Horse? Don't stop, Arthur. Get on the horse. Run. Run, horse. I don't care where. Through the swamps? Anything. We're going to try and run as far as we can. I'm going to get on the railroad here if I can. So far, this has worked. Oh my god, it's them again! That's all we need. We gotta lose them. What was that? They were waiting on the other side of the tracks. That... Th this is a little unfair with the game literally being predatory, trying to just have me fail this mission. That was completely unreasonable. Just having them all... There was like eight of them just sitting there in a group. I saw them for a half second. I thought they were wild horses or something, but no, they were... They were dudes. They're part of the cops. They're still on the road over there. We're gonna go this way. We just need this wanted to go away. Once we do that, then they will stop. And I can pay off whatever bounty there is. Okay, it's gone. We have a bounty here. Like, look at this. Look how far away they chased us. The cemetery was over here. We were all the way over here in the cemetery, and we ran all the way up to this, and then all the way over this bridge, this railroad bridge, and then went all the way up here just south of the New Hanover County where with the Heartlands. And that's insane. That is totally insane. So now we got to go to Rhodes and get rid of this bounty. Because Rhodes is the closest town, and that's still a bit south of us. I can see it off in the distance there. That is insane. That is wild. Right. Well, John, we survived. Thank you, horse, for actually jumping over a fence for once. I don't even know what we got from the cemetery. Like, was it a bunch of money? Was it worth it? Alden, can I pay my bounty, please? Good Lord. It can't be worth it. I don't know if it was worth it. I don't know how much money we got from that. It's done. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Oopsie daisy there, fella. Have a nice night.
So now that that's done, where do we go? Because I don't see anything here as a mission anymore. We're just, we're going to re-enter Sandini, I guess, and just see what happens. The music's a little weird. I hope the game isn't glitched. That would really suck. I like having John with us. It's always nice to be in like a team in this game. And we don't hang out with John too much. At least we haven't so far. It is so foggy out here. I can't see shit. Reminder, the capture on my computer is a little brighter than what I'm seeing on my 4K, so... I really can't see anything here. Alright, we're coming up on Sandini. I don't know why they call it Sandini, because it wouldn't it with the spelling wouldn't it be pronounced Saint Denis? Or is that just like a colloquialism with the accent that they all have? They just call it Saint Denis. Is it just an accent thing? Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Maybe it's a French thing. All right, we're back in town. Let's just see where we are. If anything tells us to go do something else, that would be lovely. If not, we might have softlocked the game somehow, unintentionally. can't even save the game right now because of stuff? I don't know why. Story. Okay, this is just a recount. The town seems to be functioning fine. Part of the reason why I think this might be a weird softlock is A, I couldn't get on the horse earlier for some reason for that NPC. And two, the music is still droning with whatever it is for escaping. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there and collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. So we're not softlock. Where are we? We're back next to the cemetery. So <laughs> I had to go all the way out over here and then all the way back over here just to do all that and start back over here so the game wouldn't softlock. Okay. Jack. 
Here's another disconcerting thing. I don't know if we're actually out of the woods yet. His house is this one, if I recall right. So let's go back there. We're still not getting anything on the minimap, and the music's still going. That's why I'm a little concerned about that. Let's head back to Bronte's and see if everything's all right. And if not, then I'm going to have a fun time resetting the game and seeing if it's fixed or not and where we would have to go or, well, what we would have to redo because manual savings disabled and I haven't manually saved since before the last part. All right. Let's get this done. No, it's... It's acting like it's still doing the mission. I'm just not getting any notifications in game on it. The music's gone. Let's go back inside. And hopefully it'll fix itself after whatever cutscene plays. Is this not his house? I don't think it is. I could have swore it was. Yeah, I could have swore his house was this one, because... Oh, no, it's this one over here. Okay. Thanks, John, for directing me. I know his house is on the water, because that's part of our a mission for us later with him. He's just down the street. What are you doing? Let's go get Jack. I know. Hold on. You coming in with me? I'm glad the game does not you seem to be stop uh huh? soft lock. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said. You took your time. That could have been really annoying. You're going. But a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte. You all right? For everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Man. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said he'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Hmm? Don't call him that, please. <laughs> John is annoyed. That means horse. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which one? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. <laughs> well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. <laughs> John is just up so upset that 
the, that guy treated his kids so well. <laughs> He's feeling very self-aware. <laughs> I don't know, John. Maybe Jack should have stayed back there with Angelo. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. It's how <laughs> Do you ever eat that? Come here, you sweet boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. It's about family. Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? Did you ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> Let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well... Boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Let's party round the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E F O N uh, S O N G song. Hey, hey, how about a song? How are you? Javier, play us away. Ah, uh, poor Kieran back there. <laughs> How's it going, Uncle? It's not often you see Dutch having a pretty all right time. He normally doesn't even mingle with the gre the rest of the gang like this too often in the game. That was good, Javier. Mr. Pearson, get over here. Maybe play some for Jack later. I'll ask him in a bit. Okay. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Quando salí de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. Y con la flor del trompillo. Come on. First thing Jack does when he comes here, listens to a song and then sits in the mud in his fancy clothes. Of course he does. Those clothes are now <laughs> ruined. The traces of Italy are being washed away.
Is Strauss over here? Why is his icon over here? Oh no, that isn't him. Oh, it's the it's the monk dude. It's the priest guy. Okay, I was like, why is Strauss over here at the docks? I think we're just going to shave and go to bed. Here you are. Eat up. Thanks. I want to see if he reacts weird because he had spaghetti. If you say so. Oh, Tahiti. Oh, the first time he's brought up Tahiti. Paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Here we go. These are the lines he's going to repeat for the rest of the game. Tahiti, have faith. Okay, Mama. I have a plan. Yeah, have him, Karen. I for I still have the stupid rat. All right, all right. Yeah, just throw the rat on the floor. Where is my bed? Oh, is it inside the house? I think it is. Come on. Let's leave him to play. All right. Well, reckon I'm going to turn in. How did you get in the house before me, Sadie? Oh, there's a door over there. Okay. I was going to say, that seems a little suspicious. Where's our room? Is it this one up over here? Yeah, this is our room. So, I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stay together. You know, Marley. John wants to behave like a normal family? Slick back our, make our hair proper, but still have mud and blood all over our face. So many bullet holes in our head. <laughs> That was kind of jank. Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Janie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Janie's thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. 
Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? All right, that's all I need to hear from that. <laughs> that was rude. Why can't you just be what I want you to be? It's like, chill. Arthur's father, Lyle Morgan. Hmm. Larson. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> it's a... It's like a... One of those pictures they take when you're arrested. Arthur's dog. Does it have a name? Hosea, Dutch, and Arthur. Oh, geez, they look, they look young. Dutch looks like Prince Farquaad. Hosea looks like what's his face from Metal Gear Solid Five. I forget his name. Yeah, the guy who always wears the aviator sunglasses. He reminds me of him a little bit. He doesn't look like Raiden. He looks a little bit like Liquid. A smidge him if he had longer hair. And then young Arthur just looks like... I don't know. Yeah, who does he look like? I don't know. He reminds me of somebody, but he looks like someone that belongs in the background of a Christmas story or something. <laughs> But young Dutch absolutely looks like Prince Farquaad from Shrek. Oh, that is great. Are there any other photos I didn't pay attention to? No. Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, 1870. So this image was taken about 20 years ago. It's probably his mom. Three men's son, Major T.J. Belford, is arrest, has been a cashier at the banking house. Uh, bah, bah, bah. What is this? What year was this? 1887, so like a decade prior to this. Yeah, so Arthur's been doing this stuff at least around, I don't think this is a smart idea. Arthur's been doing this stuff for around a decade or so at this point. Seems his family had similar habits. Especially his dad. Wait, who's on the floor? Oh, oh, of course, it's Uncle. Why should I even doubt that? You wait. What a... Sorry. It's too tempting. You're interrupting my beauty rest. Everybody's hungover, it seems. Is this when we see... Yeah, we're going to see Kieran's dead here. Everything's just going to escalate right now. I think... Who do we talk to? Ms. Hosea. It's Mary Beth. We're going to talk to Mary Beth. I guess it's not happening right now. So let's just keep going with these missions before we get forced out. Yeah, we get forced out of here, if I recall. So that should be one of the last things that happens here. Too much fun last night. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Oh, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, 
Life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. We're going on an adventure with Grimshaw. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. I don't know if this is the same group of guys that we ran into back in Valentine. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yeah. Yes. They probably followed us down here. Do they know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yep. I think Taking a little are. detour here. What I'm trying to say in my clumsy and inelegant manner is that... No, get out of here. Oh, now, you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You <laughs> said your last word. <laughs> now, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. One second. I just needed to pick that up. Headless. If I had it my way, you'd be dead already. What the hell? What the hell? Where's that girl, Arthur? Why isn't Arthur doing anything? Thank you, Arthur. What the hell was that? I was trying to aim at him and it just wasn't doing it. He was just standing there looking at Tilly. Let me pick up my hat. One second, Tilly. That was stupid. The game is the game's been pretty good up until today with being not glitchy. It's just messing up a lot today. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. 
Now, right, we get the Dalmatian horse today. This horse is fast. Why am I trying to use a knife? The horse. I'm not. I'm gonna stop asking questions to myself about what's going on with the game. At least try to. Whoa, do you see what's going on in the bottom corner of the right? With the hit... With, to hit this dude? Look, look at what's happening down there. Is that with like, the text was glitching oh, out for some reason. See it? Right. Something is not right with the game at the moment. Yeah, the text down there is just freaking out. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. All right. Here's your man. Dump him on the ground here. So he's still alive then? Ah! Yes. Do you see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the run. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. I would like to take the Appaloosa. Maybe make it my new horse. That would be nice. This horse is fast, and it feels very strong compared to the one I've been riding. Which in itself, the one I have is a placebo for the fact that my horse is dead. So, I like this one. It's even got Dalmatian spots. It's no zebra, but it'll do.
Where is my horse? All the way back at camp. Which is fine, because we can go back there. I'd like to talk to Strauss again. Wait, why did it have me go all the way over there? Yeah, that's weird. No, just head over here. see a horse just up ahead. Yeah, a little weird. Just a dude walking beside his horse hey, with his gun. Over here! Over here! Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on. Please. Oh, no. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm yeah. gone. Nah. I'm sorry. Your part in this adventure is good for now, horse. Alright, let's go find Strauss. For some reason, Arthur just wanted to stand still there for a second. I can inspect a letter. My dear Leonard, it is only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight. And already I feel compelled to write how handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young and learn it well. Wh whomst? I am as ever your loving father. Who, who, who is Leonard? Okay, whatever. We we'll need more food soon, Mr. Morgan. I hear you, Mr. Pearson. Feel free to go and catch it yourself. And you all ain't so bad. Abigail, she's as good as they come. Strauss really took up residence in this house separate from the rest of the building all the way out over here. Dude really want to be left alone. He really wants to be left alone, huh? Can I climb up? There's another letter here. There's letters everywhere at this camp. Micah, thank you for your letter. Letter to Micah from Amos. 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 Micah, thank you for your letter. I suppose I'm glad you ain't been hanged yet, but I'm going to have to insist upon the fact that if I see you again, won't nobody need to hang you, as I will break your neck. Oh, he's got fan mail. Amos Bell. Do not claim you know me. If I hear you are within 50 miles of me, I will come and find you. Oh, it's his brother. Huh. Even his brother really hates him and wants to kill him. Mr. Morgan. 
still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar <laughs> kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. Dutch tells me we're going to be ranch. Australia. Spot, Wild uh, West 2. So far, we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living Algae. in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. So where is this guy? Up here? That's oh Mason's back again. He's up by Valentine this time. Mary Linton, Mary needs to speak to you. The brother. I don't see this guy anywhere on the map, Strauss. I don't know what you're talking about. Unless he's somewhere out over here that I just can't see yet. Right now... How far away are we? I think it'd be smarter to... I think we'll get a stagecoach and Rhodes go up to Valentine, meet Mason. If we can. Well, what time is it? This is like one of the first times I'm looking at the clock in the menu. It's about to be 12 o'clock. No, 10 o'clock. Man, the hands on that watch are weird. Yeah, it's about to be 10 o'clock in the morning, it seems. Mmm... I think we're just going to go up there ourselves. Just to make sure that he's there. Oh, Javier, please, not now. Lovely, isn't it? I gotta go, dude. Makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Th thank you. This dog is staring at not much. I think it's just watching this horse. I thought it was staring at the wood logs in front of it. I thought it was just a bad placement of the horse. Well, the horse, the dog. The horse is the dog. The dog is the horse. We gotta get out of here. My brain's going a million miles a minute now. We gotta get out of here. I had a strawberry wafer. While we were waiting. And now I am hyper. Howdy, fellas. I think I just ran over a rabbit. So earlier today, my neighbors let me go over to their garden. They have a very nice garden. And I took some macro shots of some of their flowers using some of my film. And I'll see how they turn out. They've offered me to do that the whole summer, but I've put it off just because it's a little awkward to me. Like asking, hey, can I take some photos of your flowers in your garden? Garden. <laughs> and today I, I did that finally. So that's off the checklist of this year. I hope they turn out all right. I think they'll turn out interesting. We'll see. Yeah. Out of the way. 
Chill, Arthur. I don't care. I was fine doing that around Valentine. I'm, I'm a little impatient at the moment because I want to do this photo mission and make sure it is done. I'm still wondering what happened with the continuation of the... Like, what's going to happen with the scientist from earlier today? Like, we did almost all the missions. We didn't follow him to the place, but that wasn't part of the mission. So I'm just waiting. When are we going to get an update on that, at least? Oh, that's nice. I thought that there was a mission in, with him where you go and see it happen. Where he fries the dude, and it just goes really bad. Just give my horse some food and steroids. That's all it needs. It doesn't need water. It doesn't need anything else. Just food and steroids. We should be getting pretty close, though. Because we're just south of Valentine now. I keep hitting these animals that I'm not seeing. Jump over three obstacles in 15 seconds. I, I, I saw the hoof hit his teeth and instantly kill the dude. I felt that that was hilarious and just terrible at the same time. Oh, no. Ah, the Wild West. Ain't that just the way. Where the hell is Mason? I feel like we're heading towards Strawberry now. He's right over here. He's up on the hill next to us. I start seeing like pine trees and the land start to gray a little bit and I'm like, you know, we're heading towards Strawberry. I can call to it from over the ravine. I can't study it. I feel like it was a, I feel like that was a message. I don't know from whom. But I feel like Cliff Elk was a message of some sort. Anyway, superstitions aside, hey Mason, how's it going? Mr. Mason. Oh. 
Don't fall off. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. They're, they're... Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! And, and he's dead. Damn! You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Yeah. And please put me out of my misery. Come here. You test Mother Nature, she's going to sit your ass down, man. All the way down the cliff. Some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. I think we're done with Mason, then. Mission complete. Arcadia for amateurs. I want to see... Yeah. I, I'm not sure if that's the end of his story in the game. But that kind of seemed like it just one last meeting with the dude where we save his life again. That guy's herding sheep. We could go to the movie theater in Valentine. Algae is all the way down here. So we're going to go to the stagecoach and hit a ride. We're going to get a ride to Rhodes so then we can go down to Algae real quick. After being in the swamps in San Denis, honestly, it's kind of nice to be back up here in the Valentine area. It's just not, it's a nice hilly grassland. It's comfy. Oh, it's this guy. Somebody, please. Hello, Mr. It's Mickey. Hey, brother. Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. <laughs> He's all right. He's just missing an arm, a little insane and sad. I hope my horse doesn't get jealous of me using the stagecoach. Like, what, I'm not good enough for you? I'm a brand spanking new horse, and I'm not good enough for you. I was good enough for you to get rid of your last one. We have 
All right. Thanks, mister. You help me out. Hey, partner. Let's see what this is first. I, I passed it last time we were here. I want to say it's two convicts or something like that. There's like a little side mission. Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right, on. And I'll right, tall you, on. you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. I mean, he's okay. Even for a darkie. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I've had enough to hear with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! All right, we're taking down wanted posters. Those guys seem to get along great, huh? So what, we just got to run around town and see if we can find any posters? I'm assuming they'd be on the main street. Hey, here's the police station. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad, they worse than worse. You always love one for gossip. Jeff Joe Minglethorpe, gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies. What did it say? What did their bounty poster say? One of five. Am I supposed to look for places where there would be? You best act more civil than last time you was here. Oh, you mean when I killed half the town or something? Yeah. Hello. Why, hello there, sir. Hey, y'all. Yeah, am I supposed to look for where wanted posters would be in town or something? Okay, the game's kind of helping me, I think. Oh, behind this guy. Yeah. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. This guy's being a real jerk. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? You idiotic son of a bitch! A man's a menace! Oh, 
All you had to do was move, and that's what you get. We got the sheriff's office. We got that street post. I just ran through a whole load of shit. Oh, there's one right next to me. I, I'm thankful for the minimap kind of helping me with this because this is not the biggest town, but I just don't know where these are. I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Oh my God, it's the Gavin dude. I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. The story of that guy, like, what's going on with him? Really me. That guy's actual story of what's going on with him is actually very sad. There, there's some... That's the thing. This game's about people. And there's a lot of... There's a lot of heart. There's a lot of insanity. And there's a lot of sadness. And this game does a great job of just giving you a, a world of that. The game said that there was a poster over here or something. Yeah, I thought that the game was pointing me over here to this building, but I don't see any in there. So that's a little weird. He's all the way over on that side of the road. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more of these posters. There's two more. The game tried to kind of hit me for a second about one being over there towards that other building, but I didn't see any. Maybe there's one in the train station? I think they have a wanted area in here, too. Or something like that. Yeah, they do. Just one more. 
Oh, we're done. Just return to them with the posters. Yeah, that was all five. I thought I was missing one, but all right. Ain't been too many federal coming through. Might have got some horse sense. We got a horse back of pot and convoy. He's dirt poor. This thing got spot. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the poster. Thanks, partner. That's that, man. That's that. Free at last. We can eat it. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first. See if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right. So bring us all over. Then I'm done with you, Black. Oh, they're friends now. <laughs> Come on, my girl. Yeah. So where are we going now? Right, we were going down here. To get our bounty, our debt that's owed by Mr. Algae. How long have I been playing? One second. Uh, yeah, I can keep going. We can keep going today. We got plenty of time so far. Are you guys doing? Oh, you ain't going to get nowhere with that hammer. Oh, shut up. I know how to open a safe. <laughs> okay, what? What the? How do you mind your business? Just to keep walking, huh? I think I'll take this. Ooh, a Molotov. That's good. I've been running low of those for a while. If I remember right, I can use dynamite on this thing. To open it. Yep, I, that worked, yeah. 20 bucks. 40 bucks. There's, there's 40 bucks in there. I don't know if, in my opinion, I don't know if that was worth a dynamite stick, but sure. And I'm sorry about this horse, but I'm going to see if there's anything on you. I'm real sorry. Oh, you don't have... S Ugh. Dumb. You don't even have any saddlebags for me to raid. Oh, All right. I, lo I lost a bit of reputation for that. Or honor.
No, just keep running, Arthur. We're gonna die. They have a Gatling gun. It's leftovers of the dudes from Shady Bell, huh? Well, there's where I'm supposed to be, so this kind of sucks. Somebody got a devil strike out of that. Holy crap. In I was pretty well healed. Instant death. That sucks, but I can't truly be too upset about that. I'm just... Give someone a clap. Whatever NPC did that, they had a good shot. It doesn't matter too much for me because I'm right here. But yeah, that that was a surprise. I am honestly pretty surprised about that. I was set up and ready to fight him. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Is there anything even in here? Yeah. May as well use this. Also, I do need to eat something. Why does he have a grindstone? Does he make swords? That's something I would expect to see in The Witcher 3 or Assassin's Creed Valhalla, not this game. I can't get in. Is he even in there? Can I look through the windows? I don't see anyone on that bed. Where is this guy? The quest marker says he's out over here. Oh, he's down here. What's up with you, dude? Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent is in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you 
gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. <laughs> Arthur's a good boy. Money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I don't think this guy has the money, dude. He's a lush. He probably spends all of his money on alcohol. Oh my god, did you see the bottle? It's like weirdly floating in his hand. This is a weird trap. Don't take it. It's right here. It's not letting me. There we go. Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. It's not letting me pick some of the stuff up. Is it just the dad and his son? I think it was because there's just one bed here. Dearest Nate, I don't know how many letters I've written now, but I won't stop trying. Even the act of writing feels like some connection to you, which is certainly better than none. A letter to Nate from Mama. I can understand how hurt and angry you must be for walking out on you like I did, but I promise that I love you with all my heart. I just couldn't take it any longer. You know your father's temper, especially when he was drinking which was all the time at the end. I found work and I'm rest renting a small house. Just give me the word and I will send for you. We can both start again. Love always, Mama. Look at this. So, like, when the wallpaper was decaying enough, they started to just replace it with newspapers. What you done? 
What you done? One second. I'm I'm just gonna take your trading cards. It's okay. <laughs> it's it's okay. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from them. Ain't that lucky? Can I just leave it? I don't think I can. Yeah, I think this is just a mission that has to be done. I don't want to. Well, we're doing it. I think I know the sum. That should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Oh. I mean, yeah, that kind of sucked. That did kind of suck, but... We're not here to do good things. We're here to do bad. All right, let's go back to Strauss. Actually, that's the weird thing. We don't have to report back to Strauss for these. It just goes back to him, I guess. Let's do some more mission, some more side missions. Let's go to San Denis. There's Mary and that priest dude we met from earlier. There's something up here. Oh, hey! It's that mass murderer guy from throughout this game. Huh, I didn't even know this was here. I don't think I've ever seen this one. It's been a while since we found one of these, but I don't think I've ever seen one like this. Behold! Yes, uh, this is if this is your fancy art project, huh? Is there anything here? Normally, oh, there it is. Let's get out of here. Yep. 
Right. It's always a little unsettling finding those. You saw that dude just try to run into me, right? I'm sure plenty of people have fig have completely figured out the story and the meaning and the locations for They're coming for the prisoner. What? No, I I don't know what you mean. My horse just I'm glitching into my horse and the trees. Heads up! Yeah, one second, dude. I'm a policeman. Over here. Arthur glitching against that for some reason. Mister. Well, yeah, seriously, relax. Thank you. God damn these bastards. Get out of here before any more of them come along. Okay. There might be some things here if you want them. Might just be a hero, me. Thanks again, citizen. Nope, nothing, it seems. Can I burn one of the bodies, please? You had nothing on you, so... Aw, oh, did it just go out? Nope, I restarted it. <laughs> Meat's back on the menu, boys! We didn't start the fire. It was always burning. I don't want to get copyright claimed by Billy Joel. <laughs> that is always a good time when you just try that and it works. There's another box here. Anything? Yeah. Pirate rum? Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Horse reviver, chewing tobacco. I think that's about it for the most part. Can take an apple. How far away did my horse go? That is always the question. How far is the horse willing to just run away while I do battle against ne'er do wells?
You know, I'm surprised so far we haven't come across any of the hanging bodies from the trees from the nightfall. We haven't come across a single one to my knowledge. There's one that even shows up at our last base in the game, our last camp. It happens right outside of our camp. Well, can happen. So the fact that I haven't even run out, to, run into any out here is a little surprising. Normally there's one by now. I do like how Arthur abides by a certain speed limit with the horse while he's in the Sandini area. We can't just free sprint like we can out in the country. We have to go by a certain speed here. Oh, good God. Okay, we did not crash into that thing. We did not need to crash into any carts today. That would be lovely if we don't. Okay, we gotta stop here. Give me my stuff in case we need it. And let's go talk to Mary. Mm, whom we have not seen for a while. Arthur! Up here! Hi! What do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Gentlemen. Yeah, just smudge the dirt into your teeth. Oh, sir. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Did you call me here just to bitch at me? You and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Ooh, I, I could hear the reverb in the audio fine. booth for whatever Arthur's VA just, ye just yelling like that. <laughs> Yeah, Arthur went off. Oof. I am... I should have asked someone else. Yeah, why'd you bring me here if you're just going to yell at me for being me? Yeah, you know, we're frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. No, no. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. But it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah. Along, Dad. We came here. We may as well. What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm's beneath you. He's been... Gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. 
So you wouldn't? No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. I do have to say, yeah, you you criticize Arthur and his life in person of choice. Like, his person, not necessarily his personality, but, like, his lifestyle and all that. And your brother tries to join a cult. We save him. And now your dad is just a, a shithead gambling and... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like, hey, your priority straight. Come on. Arthur's not too bad. He's He's bad, but he's not that bad. He's bad in a different way. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Let me put it this way. He's bad in a better way than your brother or dad. How's that? kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. <laughs> Is it your street? Get <laughs> out of here. Why? Said, just get out of here. Yeah, exactly. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. You fine lady. You've just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. This is the guy Arthur had to get blessings from? I don't think I've ever done this mission before. We better follow him. Okay. I don't know if I've ever done this mission. This is not familiar. This guy's just a shithead. This way. It's a stealth mission too. Lovely. Yeah, I saw. We just have to follow him from a distance, I guess. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We just follow the smell. <laughs> Just went between those crates. Nice vomit. They actually textured vomit for that. Don't lose sight of him. Come here. Huh. Quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Mind. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. I'll wipe out that goddamn slug. Came out your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. Nope. This is kind of fun. <laughs> this is kind of fun just following your deadbeat father around and see him just accost people. <laughs> You can see now why Jamie tried to join a cult, I guess, find a better life if this is the dad. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Hey, 
I'm surprised you didn't join Jamie in that cult for the turtle or whatever they were. Let's go find out. Wouldn't they say they wanted to be in the shell of safety or something? I am having like a weird deja vu sensation with this mission now. At at the start I didn't recognize it at all, but now I'm getting like a weird deja vu about it. What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Family heirloom. That was mother's Family little brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. Is that a beast to sell? Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself oh, killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, <laughs> how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. It's all right. I'll just shoot him with my gun. That's how we end things here. That's how this game works. What is Arthur doing? He's like... Stopping as soon as he touches anything here. And we hit a dead end. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Yep. I'm kind of glad I brought my guns hey. with me now. I think I just had to chase them. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. God damn it. You stop right now. Yeah, it's not really prompting me to fight them. This is exciting. Just, just make him. <laughs> I love how the other dude just jumps off. Drive to a secluded spot. They put up no fight. You're insane. I'm taking you to the alligators. Let them eat you. This is a sacrifice for our pagan cult. Get out of there. We're going to bring about the new world and the new Leave God. And you the will be the source of it. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. I'm going to blow your cue ball head off in a second. Give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer.
Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Can I have my money back? <laughs> I did not expect to actually get my money back. Okay. I don't know if that has any real repercussion for me, but that was amazing. Uh, my horse is too far away, it seems. Yeah, it's all the way down there in town. Looks like I'm walking back. Where am I going in town for this? Mary? Okay, she's all the way back there. Looks like we're walking back. I like the music playing right now. It kind of reminds me of Firewatch. But yeah. I didn't intend to kill him, but it just worked out that way in the moment. I am I am more than amused at the fact that I got my money back after killing him like that. That was amazing. Yeah, I don't know why Arthur just stops like that in his tracks, just dead stops. It's like I'm pushing the run button, and I'm obviously running pretty fast. Do I have anything that I could use here that's just... I have some bitters. That'll do well for running. I think we'll wrap this up, then we'll do the mission for the priest guy, and then we'll do one more story mission, and I think we're done for today. This has been a long day of Red Dead 2. We've done some, we've done a lot of stuff here in San Denis and elsewhere. I heard a sound effect for a second there, just in the, just in the background of my left ear in the town and it sounded like a, a it was an SFX that's used in SimCity 3000 it must be part of some stock library or something through here Take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. He's being eaten by gators right now. Hey. What are you doing now? This, this is a well shot oh, yes. scene. The smoke, well, the smoke in the air, and if you wanted to do the so. way the light is is very good. Head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> the strangest I can handle. Well, it's the. Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. 
Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, thank you. Always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman. Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> I just want to say, the sound mi I noticed the sound mixing in here as soon as they walked in. It's probably not noticeable at all over, like, PC speakers, laptop speakers... Just anything like that, but where my headset that I have, they change they change the mix. It sounds like it's in some sort of open air interior, which would make sense for a large domed room like this. That's kind of nuts in a small way. You silly man. Yeah, it just come on. It sounds more Find open. Weird. All right, that was a weird mix thing. How about here on Neat. The right? Sure. After you. <laughs> oh, this is the stage play stuff. Well, I guess we're watching a show today, guys. As a child, Woo! when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not. <laughs> the greatest <laughs> show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest oh. excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three. If you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do, for entertainment is a gift. <laughs> Arthur, we want more. Cellar full of canned goods. Bring it now, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm gonna get thrown out of the theater for just, even though it's in the positive. I think Arthur's gonna get thrown out for all this yelling. I'm gonna just chill and watch. That's more like it, Arthur. Just clap. That's a bit more Thank appropriate. You for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. This is nice. I'm bobbing my head with this. <laughs> I love seeing Arthur just act kind of out of character with this. <laughs> Arthur, from this point on, Arthur's not, he's going to, he's going to forfeit his life of being an outlaw, and he's going to just partake in musicals. That's what he's going to do. He's going to join vaudeville. He's going to learn to play piano. He's going to learn to act and sing, and he's going to be famous for good things like that. Oh, 
This is a full act, huh? Um, they fully animated the band and everything with that. That was great. She can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sansarino. Yeah, I have no idea how long all these acts are. She's going to eat the fire or something? Yep, yep. <laughs> Arthur, yep, yep. What are you doing? See oh, she's belly dancing with a ring of fire around her. This is honestly kind of a nice break from all the rootin' tootin' and shootin' we've been doing for the past while. Just watching a show. I think last time we did this was the movie theater, and that was, what, part four? Three or four? I think it was part four. Sure you do, Arthur. I thought he said she was going to eat fire or something like that. I was expecting somebody to, like, light a sword on fire and then eat it. Oh, she's going to wrap this up by breathing fire or something, isn't she? Hearing some random dude, wow, look at her go. <laughs> I want to believe some of the people cheering in this are just like regular interns or employees at Rockstar. Just people in the office, hey, we need you to get in the booth. Just just say you like, read this one page of cheering for the scene we have. It'll be fine. You won't get paid, but it'll, it'll be cheap. Thank you. This is fine. It feels like it's going on forever, though. Okay, she's wrapping up. Oh, enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. 
It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. What are we about to see? Is this strippers? Is it something else? Look at that smug moon. Look at the smug moon back there. <laughs> Where's Toulouse Lautrec? He loves drawing these kinds of acts. They had to mocap all of this. I'm just realizing, I'm hoping this music doesn't get, like, claimed or anything from anything. It's classical music, but it's... Uh, YouTube is dumb sometimes. And it'll be like, oh, this was done in a 1980s rendition of something. And it's just like, oh, great, thanks. It's not, it's not how copyright works exactly, but sure. All right. I think I'm done here at the theater. Can we just... Uh, do we have to stay for all of the shows, or does it just continue infinitely until they cycle back around or something like that, or they kick us out? How, does this, how do the shows here work? I don't know. I've been in many theaters that are like this in Chicago. A lot of them are repurposed for modern use, obviously, but they still look like this. All right, the song's ending, so that's fine enough with me. If there's another one after this, I think we're leaving the theater. I just want to make sure. That moon is super smug back there, and I like it. Are you guys done yet? You're, you're, cra you're crawling on the... You're, like... Waving your feet on the floor like babies. Get up. Arthur loves it, but I'm kind of done with the theater at the moment here. Come on. I just want to get out of here. We've been here forever now, and I don't know about the music. Okay, everybody's standing in applause. I want to say that might be it. They are slow on those curtains. Whoa, incredible! How Aren't they that? lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Were you jacking off backstage? Of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, oh he's done. I yeah. You enjoyed. Thank you. Nice. It was three. I had a feeling it would be. <clears throat> humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence so thank you what a lovely yeehaw! evening come back <laughs> just <laughs> arthur screaming yeehaw at the end right we done here we are done here i did not have to cancel out of it that's nice we got to do the full date then all right well shall we yes that was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone 
close to me. Well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. And I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. If I had some. Then some fool got to trap me to a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Arthur's scenes in this whole mission have been a bit more... specifically cinematic. Like a movie more than a game. The game has fantastic cinematics, but a lot of the blocking and the framing for this mission in the cutscenes... Well, for the cutscenes in this mission, they look more traditionally cinematic. And I think that's intentional, given the context of the story being given there. Oh, the professor's back. Well, we're going to go visit the professor before we go visit the priest then. Damn. Your horse is out of whistle range. Where is it? It's all the way over there. We're going to go back to my horse first. Yeah, you toot that horn. Live it up this city. Make it jazzy. Ah, yes. I love the grays and browns of industrialization. Look at that smog. You can taste the air. Mmm. It's so full of soot. I love it. It's got some sort of sooty musk to itself. It's the smell of progress, gentlemen. Okay, girl. Is there room, Summers? Hey there, mister. Hi there, mister. Hey, partner. Is he doing it at the cemetery itself? I mean, that's an easy way to clean up after the mess, but... He's doing it at the execution stand. Okay, that makes more sense. Howdy. Evening. All right, let's see how this all ends. Here we go. Behold the calm removal of this man's existence. Incredible. He's nearly dead. So humane. 
Oh, he shocked himself. Somebody shoot me here, please. Somebody. Oh, shucks, the doctor don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't remember the professor dying from that, but yeah, that went about as well as I thought. Oh, Lord. Just take that off you. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, it made him super flexible. Inspect document. Oh, sorry for the, the honor thing is gone. Sandini Patton off his electric execution chair. Attached to helmet. Huh. All right. Well, we have the patent now. Now we can make these. Yeah, he's he's super flexible now. He can he can uh, do what he's doing. I'm just going to greet people to try and raise up whatever negative honor I got there. There, it's it's back to normal. It's fine. Easy, friend. Everything okay? Hmm. Gentlemen. When is not just enough? Even if that... Ah, I can't seem to catch a break today. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. One of these days, I'm going to whistle for my horse here in town, and it's going to run into somebody on its own, and nothing is going to happen about it. Where if I did it, I would be in trouble. If the horse does it, the horse is not in trouble. Yeah, we're going to need our guns inside this church. That's how it works, huh? <laughs> Por favor. It's warm. W. I'm up. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, you guys teaching reading yeah. at 10 at night? Brother Dorkins told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop. These kids that are worse. Don't hurt him, please. I can't see him. Where did he go? Up over here. He just stole the crucifix. He all right? Oh, I'll leave. Kid did this. He robbed me. Which way you go? What is this? This music I don't recall hearing before. I can hit a lot harder than you. Promise you that. It'll hit like a thunder to your head. Thanks, mister. You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. 
Get away. Ha, now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. Ah, oh, great. Now we're going to run away. Yeah, that's the wife of the guy we kind of killed who gave us TB for the debt he owed at the beginning of the game. I was going to say, the only thing that could screw me up right now is if the game spawned in another cop, like, right down, right down this street and had him go in here. So yeah, looks like she's resorting to prostituting. Sorry, she she has resorted. Her new career is being a lady of the night. Damnation! It is you, you piece of shit. What are you talking about? Just b b b the bind the bing bong. Okay. It was right here. I'm sorry I got too close to you, officer. What was that? Why? Find Sister Calderion without alerting the law. She sounds like a Lord of the Rings character. Okay, there weren't any cops here this time. Thank you. Mr. Morgan. Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine physically, mentally. He's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is a... greatly deceived. I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Oh, I have a $5 bounty now? I had to restart a mission. And it still gave me a bounty for that. What, man? All right, let's go pay that off first. Um, I'm going to buy ammunition first. Come on, please. Time to go. Let me know if I can help you choosing something. Now. Let me have a look. Think we're good then. Got what I need. That's the thing. I'm not I, I'm pretty simple with my weapons in this game. I'm all, I'm already set with what I'm going to use for most of the rest of the game. I figured I I figure that out and gather what I need pretty early on. I 
I'm n I'm not too I'm picky, but I'm not too picky. I have my favorites, and that's about it. Once I have them, I'm set. Just a moment, please. Happy to help you start over. Thanks, Mister. Can I offer you a ride? I'm out of my horse's whistle range again. Where is my horse? All the way up there, okay. So now we gotta run back through town, get our horse, and leave the city. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm pretty much done. What is the mission back at base? Whatever it is, it's Hosea. It's the party. We'll we'll do that. That'll be the last thing we do today is the party for Angelo Bronte. No, I'm not gonna help. I'm, I'm I need to help myself right now and get my horse. Oh, it's just, it's just dudes trying to be threatening because they have small dicks. Okay. You guys got nothing better to do. You're in the bum side of town and you just want to pick fights with people. You guys are losers. <laughs> Look at these three stooges. That sound right there, whatever that sound I just heard is in SimCity 3000. It's, it's the sound you hear in the industrial areas that you make. Whatever's happening behind me is intense and insane. I just, all I heard was, have you no shame? And then it kind of got into a slight argument that it just rapidly escalated into screaming and crying. And he has a gun. Oh, no. I, I, I do not care. We are heading back to base camp. Which we may or may not, uh, we're gonna have to go quite a little ways around now because that is not a real road. I wonder if people in, like, the NPCs in the in-game world, it's just like, if they, if they were people, they're just like, see something like that, and they're just like, wow, what an idiot. Is that a bear or an alligator? I'm still not sure if there's bears out here now. I don't remember there ever being bears out here. I've never encountered bears out here. They tend to stay up towards the val uh, north of Valentine and Strawberry area. If they're down here, that's wonderful. Another thing to worry about in the wildness of nature here.
Hey, don't say, don't call Charles a dumbass. Once again, Arthur just dead stops. He just stops moving entirely. All momentum vanished. How's it going, Hosea? Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vanderlyn is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. This will be fun. Once again, we already had the theater earlier. This will be a nice change of pace. I think Dutch is already drunk. And the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor. They brought Bill. I thought John was coming with us. After last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Get away, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. I like how Bill's pants are too short for him. <laughs> Who'd you steal those off of, Bill? Jack? <laughs> He's a respectable man. Oh, follow them. Okay. This is quite a fine establishment we got here. We even have art. It's, I see a hammer, a tree, a knot, in a tombstone, and a flower behind the tombstone. I'm, I'm going to say that this fine piece of modern art represents death. And how it is constructive and beautiful and it bonds us together. That is what I get from that. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See, that wretch is the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> you can do anything for a dollar, and I mean... <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley. A, a Confederate major in the war. And a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
A mere young mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yes, but their young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and the letters to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. This guy is terrible. I, I hate him so much. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. If you'll kindly follow me. Why'd you lock that door? What's going on in there? I hear some thumping. Is something weird going on in there? Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. All right, we're here. Looking dapper. Place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Bill has never struck me as the make friends guy. Hosea, I could believe with that, but he's on a different task. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? No, well, I'm, I'm good. Idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I am not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me oh. too long? How do you do? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Yeah, go tell him to chill off. Go wait in the gazebo over there. Thank you, sir. My 
pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? That's pretty nice. This whole sequence reminds me of the party scene in Witcher 3, of course. Uh, Mr. Please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did you say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. So we gotta, <clears throat> my voice is also dying, so I want this mission to be the last. I've been at this for hours. <laughs> I love this game. I could keep playing it for like another hour, but I, I'm, it's getting late and my voice is dying. So I know that I need to wrap up here soon enough. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Carroll. Hey! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Reprobate kid and beat him. We will not have stand or slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Could you oh. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Dude, you're a dick. Let me guess. We're going to go in that room that was locked by that other dude earlier, huh? I think we are. Yep. The guy we were just following, just whistling, what was it? I forget what song that is. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Oh, it's Frere Jaca. <laughs> it took me a second. Mon cher Angela, yet again, cities in debt. And I'm flabbergasted by your generosity. The magnificent gift you provide will provide, uh, prove a cornerstone in our financing, our dream of establishing a world renowned university in our city. Divine School of Humanities College, future students in Lemoyne own a great deal. Yes, okay, so he's funding or is getting Lair to Bronte. 
letter to Bronte from the mayor. Okay, so Bron- yeah, Bronte is like f- funding the city at the moment, it seems. He's actually the one in control, kind of. There is actually nothing in here to pick up, aside from that. Bronte's funding a university or something while the city's in debt. Why are you acting like this? <clears throat> Find anything? Nothing so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. A real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Poker, trains, and a bank. Sounds like a regular Here comes Lenny. Regular right. month for us to just Let's get in. Go home. do business. I'm I'm tired, if you can't so tell. <laughs> in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. All right. I need to stretch. <laughs> this has been a long session. Interesting times, I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? <laughs> Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Uh, we're done with high-class city society now. We're going back to our old stuff. Gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. <clears throat> and Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Tahiti. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> right, given how many new missions we have and such, that felt kind of like a halfway point for Sandini. Sandini is a long chapter. Like, we gotta break people out of the jail that's over here and stuff. There, there's a lot of stuff to do. And then once we get to Guarma, it's pretty on rails from there until we get to John in the post game. Well, the post main story. Good morning. I tell you what, little Miss Romo. I was right about what? Sandini. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. Evil? <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Oh, that's kinky. Old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> Oh, it's the vampire stuff. Good morning, Arthur. Good 
All right. Yeah, I think that's about it for today. We got a ton of stuff done, a lot of side missions, a lot of main story missions. And we got a new horse. We've upgraded Arthur quite a bit. We're making good progress with the game, I'd say, which is good because I put it down for so long a year and a half ago that it's been a year and a half <laughs> and I want to move this along a little bit. But I am going to be moving myself to bed because I am tired. So thank you for watching and have a good night.